One of the very first things a lot of developers do when they first find out about viewport units is start using them for font size because then you can have nice fluid type that just responds to the size of the viewport. Now there's a couple of really big problems with this. The two main ones are as the viewport gets smaller, everything tends to get too small or as the viewport gets bigger, things tend to get way too big. But the more important issue is viewport units are not accessible. And the reason for that is users can't change the font size through their system preferences or through zooming in and out on the website. For example, here, if I start zooming in, you'll see that the code pen code at the top is changing because I'm zooming, but the font sizes of the layout here are staying exactly the same. Or as I zoom the other way, you can see everything is adjusting as I'm zooming. But once again, actually my margins are changing a bit here because of how I've set things up or the, the width of this, but the fonts here haven't adjusted at all. For really big headings and other things, this probably isn't actually going to be an issue, but for paragraph text, you definitely want to allow that to be zoomable uh, and adjustable by the user's preferences. So if we come back in here, what I would suggest to do instead of this is to come in with a clamp if you do want to have fluid typography. And then we're gonna set a minimum size here. After the minimum size, we put in sort of the, the growth factor here. And then at the top end, you can put in a maximum. So this will prevent the font sizes from getting too big and too small. And we'll do the same thing over for here. Uh, it can be hard to know what to put here. We'll talk about that in a second. But the other thing that you could do here that makes these a little bit better is you can do math inside of your clamps. So we can actually say plus 0.5 rem as a base. And then here as well, we can add a plus 0.25 rem. Just to give yourself a bit of a base font size here, when we're in that muddy middle ground where we're using the viewport units to adjust the size, if a user is zooming in or out, it will still impact the font size. Though do be aware it will impact it less, but at least it sets the stage. And as soon as they hit the clamp at the maximum here, then it's based on the rem anyway. So as they're zooming in, it will continue to zoom. Now, as I mentioned, this can be a bit of a magic number guessing game on what size to get. So I'd actually recommend that you use something like Utopia, which has a nice uh, type calculator here where you can choose the viewport size here, the base font size you want when we're at this size, then your maximum size that you have here, choose the font size that you want it to have, the different type scales and things, and it's going to write the CSS with the clamps for you for all different font sizes you have. So we have the base font size there, we have the smaller ones going that way and the bigger ones going that way. Copy that in your project. If you want, you can always rename the custom properties it's creating. And then you're good to go with a nice fluid type scale that doesn't run into the issues of just using viewport units all on their own.